we have well and truly found our feet in the Premier League. The team is performing absolutely brilliantly. Let's go check the fixtures that you've missed. So following on from the draw against Barnsley in the last episode, we then hosted Liverpool and got ourselves a 1-1 draw. A fantastic performance from the boys being able to hold a team of Liverpool's quality to a one all draw. Sadio Mane had put them in front, but Thomas Nielsen equalised shortly after that. And that's how things finished. And then we did get absolutely battered away from home against Manchester United. We found ourselves against an absolute, absolute formidable four in Marcus Rashford, who got himself a hat-trick in today's game. And to be fair to the boys, this was probably just a step too far in terms of quality. But that's when we really did start to turn things on. Starting with away from home against Fulham. We took the lead through Sahervic in the first minute. Mitrovic equalised five minutes later. But then Thomas Nielsen put us 2-1 on front inside 14 minutes. And that's how things finished. And we got the three points away from home against our fellow newly promoted Fulham. We then hosted Wolves and beat them 4-2. Thomas Nielsen with a goal. Alexander Diaz with two from the left-hand side. And Keiichi Goto with one in the 77th minute. We did concede two, which was a little disappointing. But uh, based on the match stats and everything, it was probably a fair result and a fair scoreline. Three points. We then went away from home against top of the table Chelsea and beat them 2-0. Keiichi Goto with both goals in the 21st minute on the 70th minute and this was performance of the season by far the beating Chelsea is absolutely huge four wins in a row this time it was at home against Brighton Keiji Goto with a brace Alexander Diaz Mauricio Chan and Ferran Torres getting themselves on the goal sheet Brighton were just non-existent in this game we absolutely smashed them and our team is really really starting to come together so that sees the Premier League table looking like this we sit in sixth position 24 points after 14 games. Kaichi Goto, 14 goals in that period of time, sitting top goal scorer in the Premier League. Absolutely unbelievable stuff. In today's episode, though, we do have Norwich, who are sitting only one point, uh, one place behind us, two points away from us. So if we are to keep ourselves in that top six conversation, we need to beat them today. We're also, who else are we playing? I've completely forgot. We're playing Aston Villa as well. Norwich at home, Villa away. Let's get to the matches. So this is going to be the lineup for our first game today. Hetling, Goal, Lonsdale, Maida, Dean and Marmol in the defence. Garner and Chan in the centre. Ferran Torres comes in on that right-hand side. He has, after his goal in the last game, I thought, we've got to give him game time as well. Thomas Nielsen drops to the bench. Uh, Jude Bellingham comes in for Andre Anderson in behind the striker. And Alexander Diaz comes in on the left-hand side. He's in a good run of form right now, so we need to take advantage of that whilst it is lasting. And of course, Kaichi Goro will lead the line. First highlight of the game comes five minutes in. It's us on the attack down the right hand side with Keith Lonsdale. We'll play back to Ghana, Mauricio Chan and Bellingham. Got a lot of men inside. He goes for goal himself. Jude Bellingham. Jude Bellingham, ladies and gentlemen. He hasn't started as many games as he probably would have been expecting this season. But he's pulling that out of the bag, which means he's definitely going to be starting some more. Some decent play by us to keep hold of the ball in the centre of the park. And Bellingham, 18 yards out. Beautiful strike and beautiful goal. Norwich come at us with a corner though. Pedrino is the man to take it. We managed to get it clear up through Harley Dean. But Godfrey keeps it alive. Back out to Pedrino. The ball's played in. Great save by Hettel to keep us in the lead. Things have quietened down after a bit of a hectic first six or seven minutes. Um, but half time is quickly approaching. We're now on 35 minutes. And we get ourselves another highlight. We are in possession right now. And Mika Marmol plays the ball down the left hand side. Keiichi Goto is onto it. He's got some support arriving in the box. But he doesn't. Uh, he does need it. Keiichi. Stop being so selfish. Corner now. Keiji Goto is the man to take it. It's cleared by Godfrey at the front post. We give the ball away a little bit sloppily there by Harley Dean. But thankfully, Mika Marmol is the one that is first to the loose ball. Keiji Goto plays in Alexander Diaz in the box. He's got plenty of options in the box. But the cross is blocked. Mika Marmol's first at it again. I'm really wary of Norwich counter-attacks right now. Marmol gets past his man. Plays a bat to Mauricio Chan. Oh my dears. What a goal. That is his second goal of the season. And we have seen ourselves two absolute worldies by both of our central players. Good play by Mika Marmol here. Gets past his man, gets past another. And he manages to find Mauricio Chan on the edge of the area. First time strike with his left foot. Top bins. No save on that. 2-0. There's something about football manager when you get into that win and run. When you're not necessarily expected to be the team who is pulling together five or six wins in a row. It just... It flows so well and 2-0 up against Norwich just around half time now. Oh, I would take this all day. 
And bearing in mind, Norwich have a very, very good side. Just looking through some of their starting eleven here. I know Ida is an absolutely fantastic player. Gave us plenty of problems whilst we were in charge of Barnsley. Ryan Gravenberch, Sander Burge, two absolute great players on Football Manager. Uh, got Antonio Marin on that left-hand side as well, I think it was. But um, never mind their side now. We've got ourselves another highlight, 64 minutes in. It's Norwich, who are currently in possession, and they go all the way back to the keeper. Sander Burge with a big ball over the top for the right-hand side for Norwich. Colmenero is in. Oh, Harvard. Harvard Hettel. He does make the initial save, but the parry is a little bit slack. And it goes straight to Adam Ada, who gets his sixth goal of the season for Norwich. And uh, brings the scoreline to 2-1. It was a decent ball over the top. Um, he should be... Uh, I don't know. Is that the keeper's fault? I'm not really sure. But I think he should be parrying that a little bit better. 20 minutes to go. We will look to take a couple of changes. Trio can come off. Uh, come on, sorry. For Alexander Diaz on that left-hand side. And Thomas Nielsen can come on on the right-hand side for Ferran Torres. Neither of which have had a brilliant game. 13 minutes to go. Can we hold on to this win? A uh, couple of challenges there by the Norwich player. We do keep possession. And Thomas Nielsen is there for his seventh goal of the season. He's he, he's saying to me right now, why did you start Ferran Torres in this game? You could have been starting me. He has been fantastic on that right-hand side, particularly with his goal scoring. And uh, Mika Marmol doing great stuff on that left-hand side. He has been playing quite a lot in centre-back. Um, but I probably should be starting him at left-back. Highlights straight from kick-off. Our Norwich going to try and get back into this game straight away. Rueg brings the bar. Oh, he goes for goal. Goes wide. We had that covered. No worries. We are going to go on the counter for the final 10 minutes or so. Um, Norwich have went very attacking with their five at the back wing backs. But um, I don't see foresee any issues as time ticks away. Four minutes. And that's going to be it for full time. Birmingham City 3. Norwich City 1. Absolutely huge win against one of our closest rivals in terms of league position. We will take, I think we've started better than we did at Barnsley. I think we have. Just a quick reminder as to where Barnsley did finish when we were managing them in the Premier League. It was sixth position where we are with Birmingham right now. Um, but they have finished on 64 points. That is our target. Obviously, the way I'll be ranking this will be points based. So if Birmingham were somehow to finish seventh but have 66 points, they would finish above Barnsley and the like. Uh, league position only comes in after that point. But a fantastic win. Um, that saves us remain in sixth position. Uh, Norwich now drop off and West Ham replace them as the chasing side against us next up uh, next game then is aston villa away from home they're currently sitting 10th position should be a good game i'll see you there so we're at the game against villa only a couple of changes to talk about at the starting 11 thomas nielsen comes back in on that right hand side harley dane comes in at center back as well for philippe sandler but other than that we are ready to go First highlight of the game comes two minutes in and we are in possession with Gordo down this right hand side he's got nobody in the box what is he going to do He's going to go for goal himself and unfortunately be blocked by Pozovek. Come on boys. I would love to keep this winning streak going. I think if we won this game it would be six on the bounce. Which for a newly promoted side is pretty special. 20 minutes in now. It's another highlight. We give the ball away from a throw but win it back. After Villa are a little bit wasteful in possession. Alexander Diaz gets dispossessed on the ball's played over the top. Ossie man is trying to get to the ball. We defend it well. The highlight continues with Thomas Nielsen on the right-hand side. He gives the ball away as well. And now Trezeguet can come down the left-hand side for Villa. He gets past his man. He's in the box. <sighs> Harvard. I thought you'd mess that one up. But he manages to cover his front post quite well. And keeps the score at nil. Nil. We'll stick with this corner. Jack Grealish is the one to take it. Hettle claims. Villa have started to come back in at this game more and more in the first half. We did start maybe the first 20 minutes or so quite well. But it ends at 0-0 at half time. We do look like we're having the advantage going by the match stats. But it can be a little bit misleading. We'll see how we we'll go for the second half. Probably some changes incoming on the 60th minute or so. Alexander Diaz and Jude Bellingham both have yellow cards. And we've got more than capable replacements for them. So we're going to take them both off. Bring on uh, Pablo Martinez Trio and Andrea Anderson for them. And see if these boys can stake a claim for a first team spot. But 60 minutes in. Aston Villa have themselves a highlight. Willock brings the ball forward, tries to play an Aussie man. He gets past his man. Who's number 12? Harley Dean, you're not starting the next game. That <laughs> acceleration was absolutely atrocious. Another highlight though, Jack Grealish with a corner. It's played in back post. We do get a clear through. Maida and are oh, we lazy? Nah, <laughs> he just, he knew the highlight was ending. Willock brings the ball forward to Villa. He's just walking through our defence. Hettel <laughs> just about manages to keep it out this time, but... Villa are really, really coming at us now. We're going to drop back to a more balanced team mentality. 
um, see if the boys can start winning the possession and keeping it more importantly Unas gets the ball tries to whip it in we get the block in and that should be that time is just ticking away and how basically the flow play how this has gone I'm more than happy taking an away point against Aston Villa hopefully we can keep it at that or maybe pinch a win Martinez trio with the ball on the left hand side feeds Addison who finds Marmol who's overlapping he's got held up by as a Gilbert but um, we keep possession. James Garner at uh, Lonsdale on the right hand side. He whips the ball and Goto's there from post. <laughs> Kaichi Goto. I mean, it might just be this tactic with strikers. Um, they might feed, they give them a number of opportunities and mean they are absolute worldies. But Kaichi Goto has proven himself to be an absolute fantastic player. 17 goals this season. I think we're only in November, so there's plenty of football still to be played. And very likely he's going to be top scorer in the Premier League in his first season. And with five minutes to go, we will make our final change. Uh, we'll bring on John Espinosa for Keith Lonsdale at that right-back spot, just to freshen things up a little bit. Time is ticking away. Three minutes to go. We have ourselves a highlight. We give the ball away. Jack Grealish, one at Elianussi, can bring it forward for Aston Villa. He feeds in Trezeguet. What an absolute challenge that was, number 18. I'm guessing it's John Espinosa. It's not. It's James Garner. Absolute. You are a boss, mate. We continue with the highlight, though. It's Villa who win the ball. Can we get it back? No, we can't. Willock brings the ball forward. He's going to go for goal. Oof, just wide. And that is going to be that for the game. Villa cannot get themselves a goal back into the tie. So we take a 1-0 away win. Six games, six wins. We can't ask for more than that. And after that result, this is how the Premier League table stands. We remain in sixth position. But we are level on points with Manchester United and Arsenal. We are within touching distance of fourth place. If we were to qualify for the Champions League, that would be something special. I don't think we're quite going to get there. Obviously, our form is excellent at the moment, but it only takes one bad result for that to quickly turn around. But as things are going right now, I'm absolutely delighted. Kaichi go to 15 goals in 16 games in the Premier League. Top scorer comfortably, and I hope he continues his form for the rest of the season. Looking forward to the next episode then. You know what it's going to be. It's going to be a January transfer episode. We do have some money. We've got £10 million or that. Well, £9 million and about 50 k available in the wages. I am ideally looking for a centre-back and a left-back. Them are the two weakest places in our squad if you take a look here. Left-back, two and a half star. Uh, centre-back, two and a half star as well for the second uh, second position. Our attack is absolutely fantastic. I don't see any need to go and try and improve that. So we are going to be focusing on defensive areas, centre back and left back. But anyway, if you have enjoyed today's video, please consider leaving a like. And if you are enjoying my content, get yourself subscribed. But until next time, take it easy.